Okay, this is probably the biggest regret that I have since I started running TikTok ads three years ago. You know, the other day somebody asked me the question. It's like, hey, if you go back in time, is there anything that you would do differently when it came to running ads on the platform, getting the platform, right? Because a lot of people are just getting onto it right now because it's really blowing up. But I've been on it for three years, so I have a good amount of experience really since the alpha program. So I kind of put some thought into this and I was like, well, what is my biggest regret? What's the one thing if I go back in time I would have done differently, I would have done earlier, I would have changed. And uh, and pretty quickly I came to the answer. Um, it actually became pretty obvious pretty quick. So in today's video, what I want to share is what that mistake, what that regret was and how you can avoid making that, uh, that same mistake. It's actually pretty easy to avoid making the mistake um, because really it was just a delay of me doing something that you can do and don't have to delay. So what is that thing? Well, the thing is I put off for a long time actually using the app, right? Actually taking my phone out, downloading, take, you know, I had on my phone, I had an account for years, but actually like opening it and using it. Now, I know that might sound uh, obvious or basic or, or whatever you might think, right? Not that profound. Um, but let me, let me explain a little bit. So I had this assumption when I got on TikTok that it was going to be very similar in terms of an ad platform, um, in terms of the users to just about any other social media app. You know, I've been doing direct response marketing, digital marketing for a decade. So I've seen platforms come and go. I've advertised on a lot of platforms. You know, my big one's been Facebook, but I've advertised just about everywhere I've run ads on. And, uh, you know, the reality is like, there's always been this disconnect, meaning you could effectively run ads on a platform without really being a hyperactive user on the platform, right? There's kind of a, a wall there where it's like, hey, I can just run the ads and I don't really need to understand the type of user on here or how they're using it or the nuances because frankly, for a very long time up until really TikTok, um, all these apps were kind of used the same, right? They were all kind of interchangeable and replaceable, right? The way somebody used app one versus app two, um, again, like, the way they share content, like a tweet versus a Facebook post versus a YouTube video is different, but um, but the actual like user behavior on it was relatively similar, right? The type of content they consumed, regardless of the length, but actually the substance of it, right? So with TikTok, I assumed I could do the same thing. I assumed, hey, I'm just going to run ads here. I don't get it. And and I let my, you know, transparently and in, 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 in retrospect, you know, I kind of let my, my ego get in the way. I kind of let my... Um, my self-consciousness get in the way because I looked at it and I said like the type of content people are making on this app, I don't feel comfortable making. It's not the type of content I make, right? I kind of have a certain style and this is not, didn't really fit in that box. And so I kind of wrote it off and I said, listen, like that's not me. I don't need to do it. I'm not going to do these silly videos. I'm not going to do these things like trends. I'm like, I was, I just wrote it off. And you know, we did decently well when we first got on the platform, but decently well, right? Not like great. We had a lot, lot more losers than we did winners. And I spent well over a year, probably closer to two years uh, resisting, just continuing to force feed my creative that I thought was going to work into TikTok with no understanding of how users in the app are actually engaging with content. They have a content they'd like to see. There was a disconnect. I was totally blind to it. So I was just making these assumptions like, hey, I've done Facebook ads and I've done YouTube ads and I've done Google ads and I've done, you know, uh, snap and I've done, you know, everything you can think of. Right. And so I was like, I just can just put this type of video in a nine by 16 format and just put it on there. Right. And eventually I kind of slowly started seeing that more and more people were using the app that weren't just teens. So that started getting me a little more interested. Um, and I also just started talking to more people, especially on the organic side, right? Talking to a lot of people that I trust that have, you know, millions of followers and are able to grow really big there. And they all kind of said the same thing to me, which is like, dude, Max, this is a TikTok user and the TikTok culture and all these elements that make TikTok truly unique and why it's winning, why we're trying to copy them. Uh, you need to understand it, right? You need to be in there. You need to be immersing yourself in it. And if you do that, you'll actually create ads that are really, really native and really, really effective because they fit the style, they fit the format, they fit the, you know, these kind of nuance and these little elements that are hard to articulate and hard to explain. You just need to experience them yourself. And so I kind of got on there, right? About a year ago, I started posting a little more. And then really for me, it was actually like six to nine months ago that I started taking it more seriously, really putting a lot more time into it. And then probably four to six months ago, where I started really going hard on content, trying to actually grow my profile. And 
what's interesting is I can kind of go look back historically at the last three years on the platform across, you know, we have, I think, 50 different ad accounts in our main business center um, and, you know, a lot more that have been on there over the three years. And I looked at trends. I looked at kind of CPAs and I looked at performance, CTRs and every, everything I could think of. And I saw a direct correlation between the time that I started immersing myself in TikTok and I got our media buyers and our team to start immersing themselves in TikTok and our performance. They were almost directly correlated. As soon as I started doing that, performance went up. And the more I did that, the more our performance increased to the point today where um, we're doing very, very well. We're having more winners than losers on a, on a much more frequent basis. And I attribute that all to mine and our media buyers and our team's deeper understanding of TikTok as an app, a deeper understanding of the subgroups within TikTok for our different niches, a deeper understanding of what's working on the organic side, what's going viral, what's trending, and more importantly, why is it going viral? Why is it trending? And how can we reverse engineer that and use those frameworks, use those scripts, use those flows, those effects, those styles, those trends in our creative for our own brands and for our clients. And so what I really wanted to articulate in this video is if you are just getting on the TikTok on the ad side right now, or you just got on a few months ago and you're struggling, chances are it's because you're probably not using the app. Now, listen, there's probably other, there's other reasons why you may not, may be struggling. Maybe you are using the app, right? Um, but nine out of 10 people I talk to that are struggling are not actually using the app. And if they are using the app, it's very, very light usage, right? They're not using it daily, let alone not using weekly, let alone daily, right? And so my, my advice to you is to start using TikTok daily. If you want to really rapidly increase and improve your results, you want to get a lot better on the performance side, on the ad side, you need to go hard on the organic side. You need to start using TikTok daily by both creating and consuming. And this, the creation part really freaks people out. A lot of people have a hard time with their creating because they, you know, they're shy, they're a little introverted, they think they need to do these silly dances and you don't have to do those things, right? I haven't done a single dance on TikTok. I have about 20,000 followers. I haven't done a single dance to get there. I can promise you that. I've done what I always do. I talk about marketing and entrepreneurship and things that are important to me, but I am doing it in formats, frameworks, effects, trends, styles that are crushing it on the app. And so I'm getting better and better and better. My content's getting better and better. And on the same token, the ads that I'm creating, the ads our team's creating are getting better and better and better because they're getting more native. They're getting more relevant. They're getting more valuable. And TikTok loves that, right? TikTok wants advertisers who create ads that feel like TikToks. If you can do that, you will get rewarded handsomely in terms of CPMs, in terms of placement in the feed, all that stuff, right? TikTok is an addictive app. It has so much stickiness. So if advertisers are causing that stickiness to drop by causing users to abandon their endless scrolling, they're going to penalize you. And conversely, if you don't do that, you can let the user continue because your ad's great. They're going to reward you, right? They want more from you. So my, my advice to get more specific is I think every single person that's advertising on TikTok should spend at least 30 minutes a day in the app consuming and creating. CC right? I got to come up with a cool name. It's C squared. Or I'll, I'll come up with a much better name for, for it. Um, but essentially spending 30 minutes in there, we're actually not mindlessly scrolling. You have intention, right? So you don't get sucked in. Go in there and say, hey, we have a bunch of clients that are in the beauty space. I'm going to go into TikTok and I'm going to search for top beauty influencers, top beauty content. I'm going to engage with and follow top beauty influencers. And then I'm going to go to my For You page and scroll through and see what are, what's TikTok showing me. So you can also do in the search, there's a 007 method strategy. It's in my YouTube channel. If you go back and go search for the 007 video, you can watch that whole strategy. But also in the For You page, it gets hyper-personalized really fast, that For You page. It's really, really good at delivering content that it knows you'll like. And so spend time in there. And every time you see a great beauty video, like it, you'll see more like it. Dive in, look at the profile, see other posts that, that users don't doing, and then take notes. This video blew up in the last two days. Why did it blow up? What was the opening hook? Who was in it? Was it a girl? Was it a guy? Was it a young person, old person? Were they in a bedroom? Were they in a kitchen? Were they on a beach? How long was it? Was it 30 seconds a minute? How many cuts were there, right? Did they cut from POV to, you know, fourth wall breaking to unboxing, right? What is happening? And if you start, do you do that enough videos every day, you're going to see trends and then you can isolate those trends and then incorporate those into your ads. So again, it's not rocket science. It just requires a system, it requires effort. 
It requires you to put the work in. And I promise you, if you put the work in and spend 30 minutes or so a day in the app, creating and consuming content, your ads will benefit. Your clients' ads will benefit dramatically, right? Again, three years of on the platform. That is the, the biggest regret. That's my biggest mistake is that I waited for probably half my time on TikTok till I started doing that. Probably over 60% if you actually factor in when I started putting a lot of effort into it. And again, if I go back in time and I had done that from day one, we'd be here, not here, right? We're still doing great. We're still, you know, kind of the leading authority in the space when it comes to running it and teaching it. But we'd be like next level. We'd be, we'd be so much further ahead if I had just gotten out of my own way and immersed myself in this platform. Um, so that's that's what I have for you guys today. Again, I think it's so important that you use this app. It is the future. It's where the growth is happening. It, and even if it's not, let, let's play this game out too. Even if it is in the future, even if TikTok starts to die off, which again, I think is highly unlikely, the da none of the, no data supports that. Everything supports going like this. Every other company that may not die off, that's already the, the you know, the, the massive gorillas in the room, you know, the Googles and the Facebooks, they're going all in copying TikTok, right? Instagram is basically just becoming TikTok. YouTube is doing shorts. All of these other apps are cloning TikTok. So even if TikTok isn't the thing anymore in six months or a year, which again, not likely, but even if it isn't, let's play that game. All the other app, all the other places you advertise, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram are looking more and more like TikTok. So it still benefits you to be able to create really good TikTok content because that's the type of ads that's working on the other channels now. So you, you get a much higher ROI if you're putting your time into creating TikTok style ads that can then work in other channels versus trying to just get better and better at Facebook ads, right? Which still are going to be powerful, which still work incredibly well, which are still going to be around for quite a while at a minimum. Um, but that it's not a two-way street. That doesn't work on TikTok. So that's my advice for you guys. Don't wait. Don't make my mistake. Don't wait months or years to actually start using the app. And then eventually once every other person you know is using it, then you start using it. Start using it today. Spend 30 minutes a day creating content, consuming content, taking notes, analyzing, finding trends, and then incorporating those learnings into your ads. Your results will skyrocket. It's that easy. It's that simple. You don't need any special hacks or systems or strategies. You just need to put the work in, understand the app, get good at the app. The ad results will follow. And as always, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to get the little bell notification so you get all my videos, all my updates. And uh, until next video, have a good one.